In March of 2020, Parkland Hospital converted portions of its surgical space into a combat style unit for intubated patients with COVID-19. As the pandemic spread, our hospital, like so many others across the country, prohibited visitation and families were cut off from their loved ones in the unit. Our palliative care team pledged to get on board up front for every single patient. A member of our team rounded with the ICU team every single day, sometimes in person and sometimes via Zoom. We handled all direct communication with the families and quickly became the voice of the unit. In the summer and again in the winter, we thought we'd be overrun. So we put out a call for resident physicians to adopt a COVID ICU family and help us maintain the pipeline of communication. Within a few days, every single family had been adopted. We developed dozens of detailed scripts for laying out the natural history of COVID, for discussing common complications, for making recommendations about code status and so on, all with built-in cues for empathy and exploration of values. The scripts increased our efficiency, but they were also great teaching tools. Our daily message was carefully choreographed and protocolized. And the entire team was unified and the same voice carried our message to the family every single day. The impact was profound. Over and over again, families told us that they could tell how hard the team fought and they could tell how much they cared. The bond between the volunteers and the families was unusually strong and recommendations regarding treatment options were almost universally accepted with a sense of trust and confidence. Our volunteers tell us that the experience was formative, that their communication skills are vastly improved and that they'll be better physicians in the future. Between our invisible army and the scripts, our team doubled our typical daily census without any staffing increases and without spending a single dollar. We're in the process of adapting our scripts for the rest of the hospital's ICUs, and we feel certain that our experience informs a new vision for the growth and evolution of palliative care services at our institution.